Hi, I just wanted to introduce you to a little application I wrote um, to help organize your Unreal uh, Engine Vault. Um, it's called Unreal Vault Organizer, real original. Um, but as you know, the Unreal Vault doesn't have a whole lot of uh, features for organizing and um, tagging or putting descriptions on the stuff you have. So you just you know, end up having, I have 900 and something items here and you kind of have to just scroll through to see what you're looking for. You've got basic categories, but if you, you know, we've asked for more for a long time. And um, so I've gone ahead and written a little application to help us out with that. So um, as you can see here, I have downloaded my Unreal Vault. All these items are the same ones that are in here. And now I can um, add tags to them. I can put comments on them. I can also see when um, Unreal Launcher notifies you that you have an update, as in right here where it has that little yellow dot. Well, right now there's no way uh, to search to find out what um, what uh, what in your vault has uh, has been updated. You just have to kind of scroll through it until you find a little thing that says update and a yellow dot. Um, I have added the ability to um, for the application to let you know that you have an update and to show you which updates are available so then you can go into your launcher and choose that. I'll show that to you in a minute. So let's first get started. Let's make some tags. Hey, I want to order stuff by VFX. Let's add a tag for that. And maybe sci-fi. And let's say auto material. Um, material. Let's actually let's just do a landscape. Landscape material. That's about right. Okay. Um, you can uh, change the name of the tag. You can change the color. So let's make that amber. Uh, let's make that. a teal or something doesn't you know and you can change the name later on so now I've got a couple of tags so let's say I want to put some tags for my VFX in these um, this grid is is very powerful it's called AG grid and you can sort um, or search by various conditions by clicking on this um, and typing in your filter it contains and you can play around with this and look that up but it's it's pretty pretty powerful so right now I want to find stuff that has VFX in it and I want to just put a couple of tags of stuff that I um, I work with a lot so let's say I want to add a tag for the footsteps um, maybe some VFX bundle here um, let's go ahead and search for some sci-fi Okay, and let's see. I don't, um, do the polar facility here. We'll do it. Let sci-fi, and then um, let's. Two of my favorite landscape materials are. Oops, my bad. I'm not typing a tag. I want to. Um, are open land and M4. Let's add those. So I'm going to let that there. And we'll go to M4. And add that. Now, um, you have to clear, if you want to get back to the regular grid, you either have to clear it here to show all your listings and, and just clear that here. Or you can just um, uncheck this and so the no tags are checked and that'll give you the same results. So now that I have certain things checked, let's say I want to find just stuff that I have tagged for VFX. So I click on it once and click and here's your and or or. So that means, um, you know, if it's and then it needs to have all of the selected tags in it. If it's or it can have any of them. So right now I'm just going to um, if I just have one selected on and it'll just be the same as an or. So let's do that. So now we've got VFX. Um, let's say this was um, also sci-fi. We'll add that as a sci-fi. Okay. Um, so if I chose and, so right now I can do that. It'll come up. But if I 
right now I have it at and if I choose sci-fi as well then it's only going to show ones where it contains all of the checked items if I choose or then it'll give me only you know when any any um, tag is contained in it so that's the basics of it I mean you can just uncheck them and filter and it'll um, reset it so um, it's pretty pretty straightforward uh, you double click on the again on the tag itself to edit you can change the names change the um, color and so I mean that's that's you know that's basically it there's there's not much that that much to it um, you can uh, let's see you can you know delete tags if you don't want that one you can you know add more tags to it add more tags here as well uh, if you delete a tag here, now it will delete the tag from every reference within your um, within your vault. So, for example, I had this one right, here, this uh, landscape here uh, tag here. If I delete it, it's going to delete it from from that uh, vault item as well. So it completely removes it from your system if you delete the tag. Um, but you can delete tags from here, you know, as much as you want, or add them here as much as you want. Um, the next thing that uh, I'll show you is that right now, when I launched my um, the application, it says updates available. So this means that it uh, has determined that one of these items in here should have an update available in the launcher. So if I go and go to updates available and go to search and just choose one is for true, zero is for false. Um, you can see that uh, this landscape material, OpenLand, has an update. Now, if I click on it, I had this link to the launcher, so you should be able to just click on that, and it'll open up in the launcher. And you can see that it has an update, so then you can go ahead and update it. Um, this is still kind of testing. I'm still trying to make sure all the bugs are worked out in this updating thing. It was actually pretty difficult to try to figure out how to... Um, uh, get that information so let's just make sure and let's test it out let's go ahead and update it all right let it do its thing and while it's doing its thing here um, while it's doing that you can add comments whatever comments you want cool product you know and then you can search by anything in your comments too. Again, it's, this is all features of the grid, so I could just do cool. And um, you know, right now I've got it set on updates. Let's take that out. So, so there you go. I mean, so it's it's really easy to add tags to it, to search by comments. Uh, to search by the title name um, so it pretty much makes it easy for you to organize stuff um, I like to put stuff in where like okay I know I'm using these particular plugins for this project or maybe these are my favorite plugins and I'll put a tag called faves favorites um, or if I'm using it with a particular project I might do project you know project cabin or something like that and um and then any any uh of the vault items that i'm using for this for this particular project i'll add that tag to it and then when i'm done with the project i can just delete the tag but it, it allows me to see what's going on and see what i'm using and, and organize the thousands of items that i have um all right that should be done by now okay so that is done let's um Clear out this. Okay. And if I close it down, hopefully, if we relaunch it. And did it not? Again, still still um, work in progress. I thought that should go away. Let's see if it's still showing up as an update. So it's still showing up there as a, an update. Uh, still, um, obviously, problems with it. I'll work on that as, as 
as best I can. It, again, it's a difficult thing, so hopefully I'll be able to figure that out. Um, and that that's pretty much it as far as the basic use of the grid. Now, the um, organizer. Now, um, there's some settings you have to set. The one thing, the one major thing I don't particularly like about this application right now is the authentication part, the login part. I wasn't able to get the username and password to authenticate correctly because of uh, the CAPTCHA. I don't know how to grab the, whenever the launcher authenticates, it always sends a CAPTCHA request, even if you don't see it and it doesn't present it to you to, you to solve the CAPTCHA, it still sends it and um, it needs that. So I haven't figured out how to grab that CAPTCHA, present it to the user, have the user solve it, and then uh, that way I can pass in the username and credentials. So the roundabout way I'm doing it is I'm actually using a network sniffer. That's a free sniffer from um, Telerik called Fiddler. And you go ahead and log in to your launcher like you normally do. So you authenticate uh, in your launcher like you normally do. And then um, I grab the actual token using the, the um, network sniffer from, from the launcher. And I'll go through that um, next as far as the setups, uh, setting up the um, system. Oh, another thing on the tags, you can separate it by a uh, comma. So if you want to add multiple tags and you can't add duplicate, you cannot add duplicate. So if you try to do, you know, FF again, it's gonna, it's not gonna let you just delete your tags. And that's, um, I mean, that's pretty much it. Okay, thank you.